bricks. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to find out. Just question it. Yes, the Lord is on me. Thank you this morning. Lord, we lift up your name. For your name is holy. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are the Lamb that sits upon the throne. We magnify you today. We bring our all to you. And we reference you. Be thou glorified. Be thou glorified. And as we glorify you this morning, let blessings come to us. Let our lives flow with your blessing. Thank you, Father Lord, as we bring your word. Speak to us. Speak to us. By the reason of your word, let us be taken from this present level to a higher level in you. In the mighty name of Jesus, your word says, the entrance of your word gives light and understanding to the simple. Lord, we have come as babies this morning. We have come as children to receive of you. Fill us up today. Fill us to the overflowing. In the mighty name of Jesus, let there be healing in the house. Let there be healing in the house. Let there be strength in the house. Let there be lifting up. Thank you, Father Lord. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let somebody shout hallelujah. I want to see your hallelujah sounding louder than that of your neighbor. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. God is good. Let's give God a round of applause. If you know that your presence here this morning is not by your power, give a round of applause to the Lord. God is good. God is good. Amen. We give, all the, we give God all the glory this morning. For giving us this wonderful opportunity. We do not take it for granted. We worship him. We say thank you Jesus. Amen. And so we also want to. Yes. I want to recognize the presence of our father in the Lord. The national overseer. You know. He just. He just, he just came this morning. And we saw him and like. God bless you. Thank you for that love. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. On behalf of Pastor and Mama, we are saying thank you, sir. God bless you. And Mama, once again, happy birthday. 50 years is not a joke on the surface of the earth. And so the reason why we're having Thanksgiving this morning, we bless God for your life. God bless you. Amen. Amen. So let's quickly move. Um, <clears throat> we have the instruction to go through our Apostle General's message for the year 2024. We started this last week, but we couldn't finish. And so I will continue from where we stopped. Our, nation, our General Overseer, Pastor Dr. Elijah, so I will start from the national and international programs. And so I've asked them to put it up. I don't know if they can help us. Um, but if not, I would do it from here. And of course, this is what we should commit to our memory, that we can read it offhand, even without anything. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. It says, let us recite our statement of purpose. <clears throat> uh, 
our statement of purpose is to preach the word of God and to bring people into membership of God's family. To teach the word of God. To enhance freedom. Promote Christian maturity and bind the people to God for service. And to live the word of God. That is L-I-V-E. To live that lifestyle. Okay? To live the word of God to demonstrate the new life in Christ to the world. Our essence is to reflect Christ to the world. And by so doing, to bring them unto God. And ensure the security of the believer. And this is why we exist. And we intend to focus on the achievement of this noble purpose as we step into the new year. We have spent 10 months. And I believe God has been helping us with this. But then, the expectation is not to stop but to continue. I pray you receive grace to do that in Jesus' name. So these programs, number one, A, Operation 2030. And we read from Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 11. The New King James Version says, May the Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times more numerous than you are. And bless you as he has promised you. Amen. Amen. As many will say amen this morning, that's your reality. Amen. Amos chapter 9 verse 13, reading from GNT uh, translation. It says, the days are coming, says the Lord, when grain will grow faster than it can be harvested. Ha! Somebody didn't hear that. What that place is saying is that you will have more than is needed. It says, and grapes will grow faster than the wine can be made. The mountains will drip with sweet wine and the hills will flow with it. In the name of Jesus, that will be it in Jesus' name. So, the floodgates of harvest have been opened to us. The decade of 2020 to 2030 is our decade of harvest. Amen. That's a good place to plant. Amen. This is the season of unstoppable harvest for the Gospel Faith Mission International. From this year till 2030 and beyond, in the name of Jesus, It is a time of abundant fruitfulness and harvest. This is a time when we will be witnessing multidimensional harvest. Amen. I need somebody to help me this morning. Hallelujah. You need to say amen. You need to catch those prophetic words. Don't let them escape. Amen means it is so. Ha. This is a time when we will be witnessing multidimensional harvest in the church, in our family, and in the work of our hands. It is a time when we will enjoy the blessings of open heaven over all our efforts as our little efforts will yield exponential results. How many of you know that 2 plus 2 is different from 2 raised to power 2? All right? You understand. You may not understand in the result of 2 plus 2 and 2 raised to power 2. But when it comes to 2 plus 3 and 2 raised to power 3, you will know that there's a difference. (laughs) Praise the Lord. 2 plus 3 is 5. 2 raised to power 3 is what? Hallelujah. Amen. So that's the meaning of exponential result. So I will say that prayer again. Your little efforts will yield exponential results. You see that amen is louder now. 
Grace for additional and multiplication has been released to the church. I will be operating at these levels from now on. As a matter of fact, we'll be operating at that level. It shall continue. It will not cease in the name of Jesus. Our churches will be operating at the additional level. Acts chapter 2 verse 47 reads, Praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily those who were being saved. Our growth will be at the multiplication level as well. And we can see this. The word of God supports us. Acts chapter 6 verse 7. It says, Then the word of God spread, and the number of the disciples multiplied greatly in Jerusalem. And a great many of the priests were obedient to the faith. Our churches will become centers of solution. We are the power of God is made constantly manifest to solve the problems of the people and meet their needs. We will enjoy an undeniable and unending season of prosperity. I claim that in the name of Jesus. We will enjoy an undeniable and unending season of prosperity as the God of heaven blesses us tremendously. When you are blessed, the aim is to accomplish the purpose of God on earth. So, you'll be a blessing. God is ready to raise a financial army for the expansion of his kingdom. And I'm one of them. You are one of them. In the name of Jesus. Everyone has a part to play in Operation 2030. Number one, kingdom advancement priority. The key to blessing is obedience. This is the key to producing unstoppable results in everything you do. Doing things God's way produces godly results which stand the test of time. Amen. Anything that is not done God's way will not last. But anything that is done the way of the Lord Stand the test of time. God has called us to be engaged in the work of soul winning. The church is the only vehicle of bringing people into the membership of God's family. God is expecting us as a church to bring in our quarter of souls into the kingdom of God. This was why he founded the government not as a social organization but to be a church filled with Christ-like people who are true disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ. So living a Christ-like life and bring people, bringing people into God's family. Brethren, therefore, throughout this decade and beyond, our priority will be to seek the kingdom of God first. Don't, don't put up something and expect God to follow after you. The kingdom of God first. Let's, let's say kingdom of God first. This will permeate everything we say or do. Every action you take, it must be kingdom of God first. The kingdom priority. Matthew 6, 33 reads, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added to you. Make the kingdom your priority this decade. And you will enjoy untold blessing from God. The rewarder of those who diligently seek him. I pray you and I receive the grace to always seek him diligently. You know, that's a manner of seeking the Lord in an excellent way. Number two, kingdom advancement prayers. And I read from Matthew chapter 9 from verse 35 to 38. The Bible says, Then Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion for them, because they were weary and scattered. Like sheep having no shepherd. 
Then he said to his disciples, The harvest truly is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. So as part of making the kingdom advancement your priority, every member of the church will participate in kingdom advancement prayers. This will be an ongoing daily intercessory prayer for harvest. Are we doing the prayers? If we are not, please, this is the time to remind ourselves. It is of utmost importance that we pray for the kingdom harvest. This will be an ongoing daily intercessory prayer for harvest as we step into the season when our bands will burst forth with harvest. Operation 2030. Prayer guidelines will be released. Of course, we have the release of that. Amen. Number three, the kingdom advancement resources. There will be specialized trainings on soul winning at each assembly to ensure that everyone is well equipped to win souls. We will be giving to us Operation 2030 our time, our talents, our treasures to ensure that we spread our soul winning net to every nook and cranny of the world. And as this is done, there will be harvest in Jesus' name. The kingdom advancement goers, every member must engage in aggressive winning of soul into the kingdom of God. We belong to a family. This is the time we must evangelize our unsaved family members. We have neighbors, friends, or colleagues that we can evangelize. Let us bring them into the kingdom. I say this every time I have this opportunity. There are people I will come across in life that no one here will come across them. There are people in your sphere that you will come across that whatever I do, I will not come across them. That is so important that you, you do what? You influence your immediate environment. There are people in your family that I may not get to till the end of the world. So it's important for us. Let's spread it. Let's go. Let's preach the word of God to them. Let's tell them Jesus loves. This is not for us to engage them in arguments. No, anything that, go, anything that results in argument does not end well. But just tell them the simple message that Jesus loves them. God grant us the grace in Jesus' name. Outreaches to nations. Our outreach donations will be done through professionals who have been able to secure employment opportunities in foreign land who will start viable self-sustaining churches in those nations. Number six, spiritual maturity and empowerment. As a church, we will be focusing on not only preaching and teaching the word, but living the word. Raising and developing members into mature Christians. To this effect, our convention team this year, by the grace of God, uh, <laughs> will focus on this. The church will also focus on Holy Ghost empowerment and financial empowerment of members through training, counseling, and opportunity placement. So the big part, okay, is operation identification. Let somebody say operation identification. This is a program that every saved, converted, spirit-filled, sympathetic child of God should key into. The Lord Jesus, after being filled with the Holy Spirit and power, went to Nazareth and declared his mission to them. Luke chapter 4, 16 to 30. Even though they did not accept him, Yet, he preached the gospel to them. So, with this action, he laid a good example for us to follow his own place, his base. If there is no gospel church in your hometown, you need to ensure that you do your best to reach them with the gospel, which is the power of God to salvation for those who believe. Amen. 
You can also follow my example. By the grace of God, after I believed, I took the gospel to my hometown as we established an example. Today, we now have two assemblies in my hometown. That's the hometown of our father in the Lord, the general overseer. Every true believer is called to evangelize. Every true believer. Nobody is exempted. Pastors, bishops, members, children, adults, every, every one of us. We are to go and preach the gospel. You don't need to wait until you have a title before you win souls. No. If you are saved, you are saved to preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. You are already an evangelist. Our teams of evangelists are also on hand. Who will support you by going to your hometown? All you need to do is to sponsor it by getting a land or a place of worship there. May God bless you. May God put resources in your hand to do this. In Jesus' mighty name. I would also like to appreciate those who have been sponsoring this program over the years. The Lord will sponsor your own programs. Hey, those who have been doing it, the Lord will sponsor their programs. In ministry, business, and plans, you will also grant the good desires of your heart in Jesus' name. I encourage you not to relent in your efforts of support to this program. Continue to pray and give. You will not lack any good thing in Jesus' name. Somebody didn't hear that. You will not lack any good thing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, anchor for the year. Praise the Lord. Uh, I think, um, let me just keep this anchor for 2023. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So, the anchor for the year 2024. We have very limited time. The anchor for the year 2024 says, Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, okay, the only one of Israel, I am the Lord, your God, who teaches you to profit, who leads you by the way you should go. Isaiah chapter 48, verse 17. So in this year 2024, the Lord has been leading us in a new way that we have never witnessed before in government. This year, God has put his spotlight on government for good. Hey. And when we say government, you are a member of government. You are part of it. So there is God's spotlight on you. This is the year of government. This is the year of government means this is your year. This is the year we have been waiting for. This year, 2024, you will do what would make you praise his name forever. He has done that in many lives. And he will continue to do it in our life for the remainder of the years. Therefore, the anchor for this year, 2024, says, The young lions lack and suffer hunger. But those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Psalm 34, verse 10. And this is personalized. The young lions lack and suffer hunger. But I who seek the law shall not lack any good thing. As we have been proclaiming that, it's been working for us and it will continue to work for us in the name of Jesus. I say it will continue to work for us in the name of Jesus. Now, the young lions lack and suffer hunger. Young lions are dependent on older lions for food. The older lions are called king of the jungle. Because they are very strong and powerful. The older lions hunt and bring food to the young lions. Almost every animal is food to them. Because they can overpower them. One will expect that because of this abundance, their young lions will never be wanting or ever go hungry. But that is not the case. They go hungry and they do lack. What does that mean for us in this year? Young lions in this contest represent those who don't have a covenant relationship with God. 
as their father. They rely on and put their complete trust in men. They will be disappointed as usual. Also, if, if as a child of God, you depend on and put your entire hope in certain people to meet your needs or help you, be, uh, you to help you because of power, money, position, or influence, you may lack and even suffer. But those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. So who are those being referred to in this passage? They are the covenant children of God. They have made God their Lord, master and owner. The meaning of Lord is master and owner. They have made God their Lord and their Father. They put their complete trust in him in all things. Mind that use of word. Complete trust. Complete trust. May you receive the grace to always put your complete trust. No divided devotion. He is the first in their lives. They obey his word always. Their obedience is not circumstantial. They obey because God has commanded them to obey. Hmm. Amen. Therefore, he is responsible for all that pertains to them. What does it mean to seek the Lord? To be dependent on God. To inquire of him before taking decisions. To ask for and know his will in every situation. To go to the Lord for help. To look to him in prayers. When you seek him, you should never lack things. Good at all this year. In 2024, like the young lions who lack and suffer hunger, when you seek the Lord, you shall not lack any good thing. This is a guaranteed promise. Beloved, this anchor is God's mind for us in government. He has foreseen what 2024 will be and given this word to us. He told us in his word in Agai chapter 2 verse 8, the silver is mine and the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. Since they belong to him, we will not lack them in Jesus' name. Because they belong to God, we will not lack them in Jesus' name. So how do we make the, this anchor work for us? Number one, you must be a child of God. Be a child of God. Be born again. If you are not a child of God, this anchor may not work for you. It is for those who have accepted Jesus to be their Lord and Savior. Those are the people that God is saying will not lack or suffer any hunger. How does it work for you? Be a child of God. How does it work for you? Seek God and not things. Seek God and not things. A lot of people look unto the miracles of God, but they are not seeking God himself. When you have God, you have everything. The psalmist talks beautifully about this. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything. When you focus on everything, you may not have what you need. So one major difference between the young lions and those who seek the Lord is what they are seeking. The young lions seek food, but only lack and suffer hunger. But the others sought the Lord and didn't lack anything good. If you want this anchor to work for you, seek the Lord and not things. Tell your neighbor, seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and not things. The whole wide world is engaged in a rat race. People ignore God. But that is not our own experience. God is helping us. And we continue to seek the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't run after money when you should be in church. Don't do your business, career, and your profession in the way of the world. You will not attract the blessings of God. The blessing of God can never break man. 
It is only when it is not God's blessing that breaks you. May you not be broken. May we not operate in, in foolishness. May we, may we operate as the wise ones that we are in the name of Jesus. So I prophesy to your life that you will not lack any good thing in Jesus' name. We are good things that have been distributed or given. Your family will be fully represented in the mighty name of Jesus. As you seek the Lord this year, you will not be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. The God of the Gospel Faith Mission International will remove every reproach from your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The God of the Gospel Faith Mission International who gave us this anchor will show up for you every step of the way in the mighty name of Jesus. You will never know any evil day this year. I mean, you will never know any evil day this year. We have just two and a half months. I make this pro, uh, pronouncement upon you and upon myself. None of us will know any evil day in the mighty name of Jesus. My God will defend you throughout the remainder of this year and beyond in the name of Jesus. Your soul winning effort this year will see increase in conversions. In Jesus' name. God will increase you on every side. This year in the mighty name of Jesus. He's the father of all grace. You will experience the grace of God. In every ramification in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm doing some so sashing because of our time. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. The special announcement. The special announcement. We thank God our conventions held this year. Amen. I say amen. Our convention held this year. So we thank the Lord that we held our 60s. 7th International Anniversary and 57th Annual Convention. That was last year. We saw the awesome manifestations of God. So many amazing signs and wonders. One of the miraculous testimonies we had was from a sister who was barren for 28 years. And God gave her two twin girls at the age of 54 years. There is no impossibility with God. There was another miraculous testimony. That was last year. And I know there are testimonies this year. Say, another miraculous testimony came from a sister who married at over 40 years of age. She had reached menopause. Yet the Lord still gave her a child. When God is ready to do anything, nobody can stop him. The Lord moved in an unusual way at the convention. For example, for the first time in our history, someone gave 50 million naira, another 10 million naira, for missions, among many others. So the testimonies are too numerous to mention. So you can go and watch all these testimonies on your website. Okay. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Meanwhile, this year also, by the special grace of God, we, we held our 68th international anniversary and 58th International Annual Convention hey, in our international center. And the theme is peace. For those of us who were able to join online, we saw how God moved. And the movement of God will never cease in your life. In the name of Jesus. I know we usually have a time of the year. By the grace of God next year, we also have a re play and a reteaching of this in the name of Jesus. The Lord will spare your life he will spare my life to witness that in Jesus name. So faith declaration for the year 2024. Our faith declaration for this year addresses what is probably the number one prayer point for many finances. Our faith declaration is not just a yearly routine. It is the Confident assurance that what we say 
is going to happen. Hey, that what we say is going to happen. It is the confident assurance that something we want is going to happen. It is the certainty that what we hope for is waiting for us. Even though we cannot see it up ahead, it is going to happen. Amen. Amen. We are empowered to declare and decree. That's Job 22 verse 28. It says, you will also declare a thing and it will be established for you. So light will shine on your ways. Amen. I claim this. Yeah. People don't hear me. Hey. Light will shine on your ways. Whatever we decree or declare by faith will come to pass. Mark eleven twenty three 23 says, For surely I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done. He will have whatever he says. Amen. Amen. To hinder the children of God from fulfilling God's purpose, one major area that the devil attacks is their finances. He knows if he succeeds in this one area, covenant children of God in government may not have resources to give to the work of God, no matter how willing their heart is. But God has determined to change our story in government. He has determined that this year, okay, 2024, is our year. In fact, the Lord started by giving us a sign of what was to come last year. If you were at the 2023 convention, you notice that despite the prevailing conditions, we recorded the highest amount ever given in the history of government. And that shall continue in Jesus' name. Yeah. You know, that's our reality in North America. Amen? And, and oh, that's our reality in North America. Amen. God bless. Therefore, by the inspiration of the Lord and faith in his never-changing world, we declare this year, 2024, our year of no more lack in government. It's our year. Next year, our year. Forever. In the name of Jesus. In government. 2 Corinthians 8, 9. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for our sake he became poor, that you through his poverty might became, become rich. This is the last promise for us in government in 2024. And it will never fail. It has worked for us. It shall continue to work for us for the remaining months of the year. So let me refer you to our convention of 2022 with the theme, Amazing Grace. I mentioned that God's grace is the empowering force behind who we become and all we are enabled to do for him. I also mentioned that our Lord Jesus Christ is full of grace. So one of the graces is the grace that saved us. Another grace is the one that makes rich. At the cross, the grace of our Lord Jesus did not only exchange our sin for Jesus' righteousness, it also exchanges our poverty for his riches. Therefore, it means that in government, this year, we have been empowered to exchange our poverty for Jesus' riches. Amen. Amen. Therefore, it is our year of no more lack in government. Can we all say it? It is our year of no more lack in government. Amen. This year, be determined to, be determined to appropriate the grace that makes rich. Making, the year's, I mean, making this year's faith declaration work for you. Pray it always. Pray it always. Put me in remembrance. Isaiah 43 verse 26. This year when you pray, put 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9 in your prayer. Remind God to make it a reality in your life. Pray it without ceasing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Number two. I will quickly run through this and then I will stop because of our time. Say it always. There is power in repetition. There is power in repetition. Amen. Glory be to God. Say it always. Let us hold fast to the profession of our faith without wavering. 
For he is faithful who promised. Hebrews 10, 23. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Yes. They shall be our realities. In the name of Jesus. You will not lack. I will not lack. The church of God will not lack. In the name of Jesus. Jesus is the owner of everything. And is the giver of everything. As we commit ourselves to the kingdom, he will commit himself to us as well. Every promise that he has, he has given us will come to pass. When, when a man promises you, he's limited because he's, he's a man. Your husband may promise you he's limited. Your wife may promise you he's limited. Your parents may promise you they are limited. At times they want to do it, but because of the limitation placed on them, you know, they, 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 are, they are mortal. They won't be able to do it. But when God says this, it shall come to pass. God has promised us we will not lack. I stand upon the promise of God that none of us in this church will lack anything that is good. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. We give you praise. We give you adoration for what you have released upon our lives. And we run with this. We are we, 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 we bask in the revelation of this to the glory of your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah.